Hello everyone, my name is David from digicatures.net and today I start a series of video tutorials about how to use Rigacar. Rigacar is an add-on I developed for Blender and as you may expect based on its name, Rigacar will help you rigging cars, but uh, actually not only cars, but many kinds of vehicles with wheels. In this first video you will learn how to create a rig like this to animate your own model. But first things first, let's start by installing Rigacar into Blender. For this, you should go to my website, dgcreatures.net slash articles slash rigacar.html and you will go to the, on, to the online documentation for the add-on. And at the top right of the article, you have this link, which will redirect you on GitHub, because the source code for Rigacar is hosted on GitHub. And of course, Rigacar is free and open source. Uh, you will see the latest release, actually, um, for the time being, the latest release is 3.0 and all I have to do is click on the zip file, save it on my disk and go back into Blender. Here I choose File, User Preferences, I go to the Add-ons tab and here I click on Install Add-on from File go to the directory where I have just downloaded the add-on. Here it is. And now the add-on is appearing in the list. All I have to do is to enable it by clicking on this checkbox. And if you want the add-on to be enabled each time you will start Blender, don't forget to click on the Save User Settings button. Now Rigacar is installed into Blender and uh, we can start creating our rig for our own model. For this part, I will use that model. You can download it because it's part of the demo files on blender.org. But actually, I tweaked it a little and I will explain later why. Before starting rigging that model, uh, we should first really pay attention to how this model is oriented in my scene because Rigacar expects your model to be oriented along the minus y axis, which means that the front view in Blender matches the front side of your model. And symmetrically, of course, the back view matches the back of your model. So this model is currently or, uh, correctly oriented. And also, Rigacar expects the ground to be located at the same place as the default grid in your scene. So this model is layered on the, on the grid, so everything is okay. So now we can start rigging. I press Shift A, go to Armature, and now I have a new submenu named Car Deformation Rig. Click on it, go to wireframe mode, and you see I have a new object in my scene named Car Rig, which is an armature with five bones. The larger one is the body bone, which will be used to animate the body of the car, and the other bones are, of course, for the wheels. But wait a second. If I look closely at my model, I can see this. And this is disc brake. And actually, disc brake is supposed to follow the wheel, but disc brake is not supposed to spin. So, in fact, I need two bones. One bone for the wheel and one bone for the disc brakes. So, let's remove uh, this armature and adding a new one. And now I can press T to bring up my tool shelf menu. And here I have all the parameters available when I add a new deformation rig. And by the way, 
you can display exactly the same menu if you press F6 on a 3D viewport. So, what can, I, what can I do? For instance, I can adjust the position of the front wheels along the x-axis. I can even try to adjust these bones, the back wheels, along the y-axis to match my model. Uh, actually, it's not a good idea, and I will show you in a few minutes there is a faster way and also a more accurate way to do exactly the same thing with rigor car. But I can also add additional pairs of wheels. For instance, I can add a, an, another pair of wheels at the front or another pair of wheels at the back. I can even add as many pairs as I want. But I can even remove pairs, for instance, at the front, which can be quite handy if I want to rig a trailer, for instance. But now I have a regular car, so I need one pair of, wheel, of wheels at the front, one pair of wheels at the rear, and also, in the last section, brakes. I can add bones for brakes at front, and I can add bones for brakes at rear. Now, my uh, deformation rig is uh, complete, so the next step should be to uh, position correctly each bone to match my model. So if I go in edit mode by pressing tab, I can for instance select this bone, the body bone, and the head of this bone is supposed to be positioned at the point where the body will roll and pitch. So I can move it along the z-axis and also along the y-axis and probably the good point should be around there. The tail of this bone is supposed to indicate the back of my model. It's an int for a rigor car to know where is the back of the model. So the back of my model is approximately here. No need to be really accurate because it's just an int. So now this bone is correctly located. I can go back to object mode by pressing tab, select this part of my, of my model, which is the body of the car, and I can shift, right click, select the armature, go to pose mode, select the body bone and hit Ctrl P to bring up the parenting menu and select bone. Now, if I rotate this bone, the body of my car is also rotating because it is parented to that bone. Nice. We could continue by selecting each bone, for instance, for the wheels and also for the disc brakes and adjust their position and also parent uh, the part of my model to uh, the, the correct bone. But I found it was not a very nice way to, to, to do that, so I tried to implement in Rigor Car a much easier workflow to do exactly the same thing. And this is based on a naming convention. So if I isolate this armature, you must pay attention to the name of each bone. For instance, this one is named Death Iphone Body. This one is named Death Iphone Wheel.ft.l. This one, Death Iphone Wheel.ft.r, which means for front right and the previous one, front left. This one is named Death Iphone Wheel.bk.l for back left, and of course, this one is named Death iphonewheel.bk.r for back right. For the disc brake, this is exactly the same kind of naming convention, except that the bone are labeled wheel brake. So, for instance, this one is named death-wheelbrake.ft.l. 
So, if I go back to my scene, I can remove uh, this armature, in fact. And if I take a look at my model, this is actually the major modification I made from the original model. I renamed the objects. So this part, for instance, is named BMW blah 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 dot body. This part is named BMW blah 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 dot will dot ft dot l. This one is named BMW blah 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 dot wheel break dot ft dot l. You see that I followed exactly the same naming convention as for the bones in the armature. And you should really pay attention to the case because I have to uh, follow exactly the same uppercase and lowercase convention. So by renaming the object according to the name of the bones in the deformation armature, Rigokar will be able to inspect automatically my model and uh, position the bones accordingly. Each bone will be positioned based on the center point of the corresponding model. And after that, Rigokar will be able to parent each part of the model to the corresponding bone. So all I have to do now is double click A to be sure to select all the objects uh, of my model, click on Shift A, choose Core Deformation Rig, and now all the bones are correctly positioned based on the position of the model. If I want, I can tweak uh, this armature by pressing F6, and for instance, I can decide to push a little bit uh, the tail of this bone. I can do this by pressing F6 and for the body part I have delta length and I can adjust the length of this bone to indicate where is the back of my model. Now I am happy with this rig so what I can do is check that uh, the parenting process is OK, so I can select the armature, go to pose mode, and if I select the body bone and double click R, I see that the parenting is OK. And for instance, if I select this bone, which is def wheel.bk.l, if I grab it, I see that the wheel is also moving. So the parenting is okay. Everything is nice for me. So last thing to do is to press N to uh, bring up the properties panel. And here I have a new section added by the add-on, which is named car rig. And I have this button generate. And if I click on it, now rig car generates the final animation rig with all the necessary widgets. You can see here, for instance, that the widget is not exactly where it should be placed. Uh, I should expect this widget to be centered around the wheel. But it's not really an issue and I show you in the next video how to tweak the generated rig and especially how to adjust the position of the widgets. But now I can just check that everything is okay. For instance, I can select this widget, which is the root, double click R, and I see that I can rotate all my model. I can check the, I can check the steering, grab the steering widget, and see that everything seems okay for me. And if I want to check the wheels, I can go back to uh, the property panels here, car rig. You see that the generate button has disappeared. And now I have a bunch of many new options. And one of them is wheels on Y axis, 
which means that Rigacar will animate uh, wheels when you move your model along the y-axis. So I can activate it here, and if I select the root bone, and if I grab it, if I grab it along the y-axis, now I see that my wheels are rotating correctly. Everything is okay. So this option, wheels on y-axis, is by no means the way you should animate wheels with rig a car. It's just uh, an option to quickly check that the generated rig is okay. So once you have validated the rotation of your wheels, you can disable it. So now my animation rig is complete. And before ending this video, I would like to uh, show you uh, another uh, rig process, but with a brand new model. With this model, which is a low poly model for a track. And this model is quite different from the previous one because I have no disc brake, but also I have two pairs of back wheels. So what happens if I do exactly the same process? Double click on A to select all parts of my models. Click on Shift A and choose Car Deformation Rig. And now Rig a Car has successfully guessed the number of wheels and positioned correctly all the bones. How is it possible? Of course, because of the naming convention. So, if I take a look at the name of each object, this one, for instance, is named geo-trailer-track.wheel.bk.l and this one is named geo-trailer-track.wheel.bk.l.001. This is actually the same way uh, Blender names objects when you duplicate them. It will add an incremented number at the end of the name. So Rigacar follows exactly the same naming convention. So if I remove the previous armature and if I click on this one and this one and if I duplicate them by pressing Shift D along the y-axis and do it again, Shift D, Y-axis, left click to validate. Now I have four pairs of wheels. This one is labeled geo-trailer-track.wheel.bk.l.002 and this one geo-trailer-track.wheel.bk.l.003. If I double click A to select all parts of my model, click Shift A, choose Car Deformation Rig. Now you see that Rig a Car has successfully detected all the wheels. Can go back to Material Rendering, and if I click on Generate, I add the final rig. And I can even check that everything is okay by activating wheels on Y axis. Check, uh, select the root bone, grab it on the y-axis, and you see that the wheels are correctly animated. So this is actually the right process to quickly create rig with rig a car. You just have to pay attention of how you named uh, each part of your model by following the naming convention. Then you double click A to select all part of your models, and then you add the deformation rig. You could quickly tweak it if it's necessary by using the, the, the parameters menu, for instance, by pressing F6 on the viewport. And once it's done, all you have to do is to click on generate to have the final animation rig. So this will end uh, the first part of this video tutorial. 
Thank you for watching and in the next one I will explain to you how to tweak the generated model and especially how to relocate the widget and also I will uh, explain to you more deeply uh, how to animate your model with this rig. Thank you and bye bye.